Don't forget to check out the main channel. A new video about DMC Double May Cry is coming out January 15th. I'll see you there. And of course, join the Brotherhood to find more like-minded people. With the shilling out of the way, hello, ladies and gamers. Do you love DMC3? I certainly do. Every now and again, I have to come back to it. It's just a game in the series that really put it on the map. Put it on the map to stardom, really. And the story and gameplay were groundbreaking. But sometimes, it's a bit hard to come back to this game due to its age. You can only equip two guns, two weapons, and one style. But even though that is the case, the game is still pretty amazing. I want to touch upon something in particular. In the game, you are only allowed to have a limited moveset, as I've already discussed. But because of this, you have a choice to customize your playstyle, and this is where DMC3 shines. So this brings me to Gunslinger. In the beginning, Gunslinger was a powerhouse with a great playstyle and unique guns to carry the game. It was very special to the game. But over time, Gunslinger has not only lost its identity, but also its power. Today, we will be going over all of the DMC Gunslingers in DMC, starting with part one, DMC3 is Gunslinger. DMC3 is a game about making the most out of the limited moveset you can equip. While this may discuss others now, later in the series you can equip much more. But as a positive in 3, no Dante player will have the same moveset. This is what gives 3 the idea of many different playstyles in your liking. This means no player will play the same. This is where 3's guns come into play. Without Gunslinger, the guns can feel a bit without purpose. Spyro and Artemis, for example. Without Gunslinger, they can't do much. So, to the average player, they might not equip these weapons. They easily miss the great potential. But once Gunslinger is equipped, the game completely changes. Now, Spyro can shoot multiple shots bouncing off walls, and Artemis can now shoot multiple shots at all the enemies, or multiple shots at one enemy. Gunslinger brings out the best in all guns. This means that Gunslinger is a style that must be mastered in order to prove effective. Styles like Trickster, Swordmaster, and Royal Guard all want you to get close to the enemy as possible, but Gunslinger wants you to keep your style at a long range, making the style hard to get used to. Juggling between charge shots and melee weapons is hard to do. This playstyle is so rewarding also, and very powerful in the right hands. But I think we should address the big demon in the room. Because DMC3, on most versions, can only have one style equipped, the playstyle of that style gets jacked up significantly. So maybe because of this flaw, it's also its greatest strength. But we'll circle back to DMC3's Gunslinger, but first, let's move on. Part 2, DMC4's Gunslinger. DMC4 is a game that I have a lot of conflicting feelings on, but today we'll look at its gunslinger. The first thing to note is that there are only three gun weapons. Not off to a good start. So let's look at the returning weapons. Yeah buddy, it's like the reason my girlfriend left me, there's no power or stamina. The shotgun, for example, isn't nearly as powerful. The charge shot in 3 only has one shot, but if you understood how to use it, the shotgun could not only floor an enemy, but do major damage. In 4, the shotgun can do damage, but it doesn't have the speed and power like in 3. For E&I, it's even worse. E&I was the go-to weapon for Gunslinger. Really, you're not rocking E&I in your Gunslinger kit. With the crowd control and its insane amount of damage, you could make E&I the best gun in the game. 4 is missing all that power that E&I was so special. Now, holding the charge isn't as useful and doesn't stagger the enemies like it used to. Keep in mind that this is two out of the three guns, meaning there is a lack of gimmicky guns. And yes, we will go over Pandora in a second, but first I want to mention that the guns in 3 were experimental. It led to a lot of interesting loadouts. Sure, it may miss in some areas, but it greatly improved the game. So the only experimental gun is Pandora. The fire rate in the air has high power and was a good idea, however the bar only working for Pandora is a huge waste man. Think about an ending splinter. Giving Gunslinger a bar could increase its usefulness, but sadly this only works for Pandora and the payoff is... A gaming chair? What? First off, what am I looking at? Second, why is this so clunky and slow? Speaking of which, all these moves are slow. They don't fit the speed of Dante's playstyle. Overall, Gunslinger in 4 is missing the power and the experimentation. Part 3, DMC Double May Cry is Gunslinger. 
So just a reminder, I do think that DMC Double May Cry's guns are already great. They bring new ideas while being good weapons on their own. The guns in this game are more focused on support rather than being focused on long range. Having said that, looking at it from under Gunslinger's lens, there are a lot of missing elements. There isn't any charge shot like in 3, and in 3 it was meant to be if a powerful option used in key timings, and DMC Double May Cry is more of just an extra option in your kit. Cool idea, but not the same. And let's face it, there aren't nearly as many moves as past gunslingers. Wait a long time, there can be a sense of power, but overall, not a good gunslinger. But in DMC Devil May Cry's defense, ending splitter, stayed out of this you fucking version. What DMC Double May Cry is trying to do is give one big sub move set. As I've said, it acts more like a support rather than a long range advantage. So DMC Double May Cry's guns are good, but have a different purpose. Anyway, if you want to check out a video on DMC Double May Cry's guns, it's up on the channel. Time to move on. Part 4. Alright, many of you might be confused right now, but as soon as I show footage, you'll understand. <sighs> yeah, we kind of have to talk about her. For those out of the blue, Lady is a DLC character added to DMC4 SE. Her playstyle is very similar to Dante's Gunslinger in DMC3. Lady is in many ways a spiritual successor to Gunslinger, so having a whole character around Gunslinger, well, does that work? One great thing is that the power of Gunslinger has never been better. Power is something that Gunslinger needs in order to survive to stay a viable option. The pistols, the shotgun, and the Kalina Ann all have a ferocious amount of power, which makes me happier than a boy's uncle being sent to prison. Now, what I might say next, take it with a grain of salt. I think overall, though, Lady is just too limited. So, let me explain what I mean by that. In 3, if you chose Gunslinger, you still have 5 weapons, 5 guns. Even though you had two spots for each, there were a lot of combinations you can try, making Gunslinger in 3 unique. But with Lady, you have one melee weapon and three guns. The Kalina and melee weapon not only feels way too slow, but also feels completely out of place for this kit. For a melee weapon, I was expecting something that plays with crown control, like long range or something like that. Like, I don't know, Aquila and like Cerberus? The other problem is that I can't charge when I switch weapons, which was never a problem because how fast it could charge in 3. And by the by, you can charge while switching weapons in DMC Don't Make Cry, but the real problem is how long it charges. If you look over on the top left, you'll see a little meter. This is the bar that's holding Lady back. Before it charged, it was ready to go, but with Lady, you now have to wait a whole three levels to do any real damage, and this wouldn't be an issue if I could switch weapons while charging. She also has a wire for some reason, and it doesn't even pull the enemies toward you or vice versa, but it simply launches them in the air. But if you had a launcher for a melee weapon, this wouldn't be a problem to begin with. You have two some kind of... Now you have to use the back input in order to use twosome, which is weird. Why doesn't it work like Dante's? Better question, why doesn't most of our moves work like Dante's? Why is Fireworks now a back input? This wire is the input for every single special gun move. I don't understand why. If you want the wire in her moveset so bad, then just put it where it was before. Look, it sounds like I've been complaining a lot, but that's because I enjoy Gunslinger. Lady doesn't have enough in her kit to make her a better alternative. However... Capcom, please try again. I know if you give her more and add certain features to the character, you can have Gunslinger 2 bigger and better. I want Lady in 5. Give her Artemis, but change it around a level. Give her Spyro, but change it around a level. Give her Pandora, and change it around a level, or get rid of the stupid gamer chair. Give her literally any of the guns from the reboot. Just make her kit solely around guns like these, and we have a banger character. Sorry, this went on for far too long, but overall, Please try again, and give her more. Part 5, DMC 5's Gunslinger. Alright, back to Dante. The main guns, such as Eni and Coyote, still feel weak. They don't feel nearly as strong as 3. I don't get the two moves, such as the separating shots for Eni. I never found them to be useful in any sense of the word. And the auto charge is cool, but only when you equip Gunslinger. So considering the fact that the charge shots are still weak, it's still not worth it. Cool idea, but it's better off if the charge shot meant something. Also, I love the slide. 
quick cut in here, but I forgot to mention something that I thought was important. Dante's twosome, you know, the move that helps with crowd control and keeps style up. Yeah, that. It's not in DMC5. I don't know why, but it's not in the game. It's just gone. I think this is another example of Gunslinger slowly losing its identity, but also its power. Now, the thing I can easily praise is Kalina and 2. This gun is a perfect glow up. You get more moves along with long range advantages. I can't express how good this weapon is. Faust is where we step into weird territory once again. On one hand, I like the buy-in moves. Using red orbs is a good idea, but on the other hand, the magic hat is stupid, and the other red orbs as a resource is a double-edged sword. All that being said is by no means a bad weapon, just a strange weapon for my liking. Part 6. I want OG Gunsing back. To recap, DMC3 had a great introduction for Gunslinger, with straight power and an interesting moveset and a hard to master makes it good. DMC4's Gunslinger is a step backward by nerfing a lot of the damage and the introduction of the style switching, while Pandora has some good ideas but not enough to carry Dante's overall moveset. DMC Devil May Cry's Gunslinger is kind of doing its own thing, good but not Gunslinger. Lady is a good try in trying to bring Gunslinger back with new ideas, old weapons, and powers coming back, but while she's a step in the right direction, her overall content of her moves leaves room to be desired, but a good effort. DMC5 is a bit of a step back. Good ideas and new weapons make Gunslinger still kick. I think that we can all agree that Gunslinger isn't what it used to be. I have a few game theories as to why this is. The first theory is that guns are less experimental. In 3, Spiral, Artemis, and Kalina Ann were true risks that you couldn't find many guns like them, but later in the games tend to have one experimental weapon. Theory 2 is that the lack of gun variety. This one's a bit far-fetched, but the guns tend to be a bit all over the place and less on a spectrum. But I don't like this theory, I'm just throwing it out there. The last theory is the one that I sub to the most. The style switching system killed it. It's only natural that when all the options at reach of Gunslinger just can't compete, with Swordmaster giving you more moves, Royal Guard acting as a defense, and Trickster for getting up close, Gunslinger doesn't really have much of a place. Like it or not, the three other play more into each other than Gunslinger. So in conclusion, I want OG Gunslinger back. It was once so cool. Being hard to master was always so much more fun than the rest of the kit. Have you guys ever seen Gunslinger Ball 2? Play that shit. Aw oh, man. Exactly, Edding Splinter. I fear that Gunslinger will be forgotten. It's one of the greats, but with Lady, this could very well change. If Capcom can dump that same gameplay philosophy into Lady, I think we can play something truly amazing. This has been Splinter 33, and let me go drink some tea.